Right, the first caller tonight, a man not unfamiliar to our Skype wallet, Stephen, who's a Manchester City fan, and he's there with us now. Steve, good evening to you. Evening, Mike. How are you? Well, I'm pretty good, actually, mate, because I have to say that I always want English teams to win in Europe and go through to the next round. It's important that we have a big presence in Europe. What I really would like to have seen tonight is that uh, Joe Hart effort at the very, very end of the game go in, and that would have been Roy of the Rovers stuff, wouldn't it? Well, it would have been the ultimate comeback, wouldn't it? And he's had previous for scoring for England under 21s, but it was a great save by the sporting keeper, just tipped round the post. But I think if you're looking at it as a 90 minutes, I'm not sure we deserve to go through. Yeah. Uh, sporting played very well the first half. We were so insipid, so laboured and lethargic. But yeah. second half, and you've got to look at the positives, and second half we've displayed a bit of character, some self-belief. And hopefully yeah. those three goals will give us some momentum and confidence going back into the Premier League. Yeah. Are oh, you not in some way relieved, Steve, that you're not in the competition now? Because that would have been, I think, a millstone round your neck in your efforts to try and combat Manchester United's slight advantage now in the Premier League. Well, it was an interesting one because, yes, United have gone out and, yes, we would have loved to have gone on and lifted a trophy. I think it's been picky and... You can't really say, oh, well, we're in the hunt for the Premier League. Let's not care about the Europa League. So we would have liked to have win it. But if you're looking at priorities, then there's no argument. We need to win the Premier League. And it would have been nice to advance in the Europa League, but it wasn't the necessity. Mm -hmm. So, Steve Daniel, I'm, I'm Daniel, I'm a I'm football Steve, writer. Steve, I'm, I'm in the uh, studio tonight with Daniel. He's a broadcaster and journalist. He's also a Manchester United fan, so he's going to send you the curveball question. Uh, no, I was just interested in how do you explain the, kind of the attitude in the first 45 minutes where they looked like they weren't really bothered? I don't know. It's hard. It's more of what we've seen the last couple of games, the first leg in Lisbon and then against Swansea on Sunday. For some reason, we've just been completely off the boil. The passing, there's been no desire. There's been such a slow tempo. I, you can't put your finger on it. I'm not sure whether we're just a bit tired, a bit jaded, and therefore our exit from this competition might actually help. But then the second half, as I said, it's hard to explain because we look quite good second half. Sporting sat back. I thought they could have come at us a bit more, but the passing, there was a bit more inventiveness, a bit more creativity, and I think we deserved a couple of goals. We got three, but hopefully, as I said, moving on to the Chelsea game, we've got a bit of belief back and can go and win that because I fully expect United to go and beat Wolves and be four points ahead. Yeah, yeah. I, th I think that's what's going to happen. Um, just before the game, Steve, of course, Manchester United already out of Europe. What were your thoughts then? I thought you've just got to praise Athletic. I thought they were superb. Their style of football, it's just a breath of fresh air. Mm. United, they weren't great, but, I mean, you can't really, for me, you can't look past... Athletic Bilbao, they were just superb. The passing and then the uh, closing down when yep. the opposition had the ball, it, it really was superb to watch. No, mm. I, I agree with that, the way they, they swarmed backwards and forwards. And I was mm. thinking that um, Arsene Wenger, when he talked about Barcelona, he called, talked about sterile domination, and which is sort of, I sort of agreed with that to an extent, mm. that Barcelona, the way that they play is a little bit slow for me. And if, but if that was sterile domination, what mm. Athletic did was mm. uh, virile domination. Mm. And I found that much more engaging. But I had another question for you. Um, if City were to not win the league this season, do you think Mancini will still be there at the beginning of next season? And would you want him to still be there? Yes and yes. And I remember Mike and I think Flash was in the studio mm. asking me this a while ago, will mm. Mancini stay? Yeah. I said yes and they both laughed at me. But the owners, they're, they're not like Abramovich. They know that we need some stability. And I think if we don't win the league this season, as much as it hurts me to say it, it will actually be down to United's powers of somehow staying with us despite having an inferior squad and despite not playing well, rather yeah. than our own downside. I think Mancini will stay. He needs to stay. We've seen what happens when you have stability and there's no point changing a manager if we finish second because the obvious candidate to come in would be Mourinho. But what do you do if we finish second in his first season? Do you then go and sack him? Yeah. Um, so I think, yeah, you have to stick yeah. by Mancini. And if we don't win it this year, then yeah. I'm sure we'll win it next yeah. year. I mean, I mean Mr Mancini's uh, job now is to turn a negative into a positive, isn't it? Uh, there's only one exactly. thing left for you now. It's 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 do or die. Well, exactly, and it, the interesting thing is that both Manchester clubs are in the position that if you win all your remaining games, then you've won the title because obviously there's that key match at the Etihad exactly. on April the thirtieth. But yeah. we'll just have to take heart from the second half performance today. Hopefully, carry that on against Chelsea, and if mm. we can just continue to put the pressure on United, then we'll have to wait and see. Yeah, Daniel would disagree with me here, Steve, but I'm saying tonight that Europe will not. Uh, be happy that both Manchester clubs are out. The competition's just collapsed. 
because uh, one of the Manchester clubs is going to win this competition. Daniel feels I'm being a little Englander in saying that. The Romanian police will definitely be happy that um, both Manchester clubs are out. I don't think they've yeah. been looking forward uh, it's to true. an all-Manchester final. It's true. Well, yeah, I don't think many people as well realised how good Athletic were because they've just mm. swept United aside. Yep. Sporting, I think, if we were at our best, we really ought to have beaten them because if you look at the ease with which we swept aside Porto, and they're yep. two, three, four places, I think, ahead of Sporting in the domestic league, then we ought to have beaten Sporting. But I think yep. it is quite narrow to say, yep. well, we're, we're two English clubs, therefore we should get to the final. But yep. there's plenty of good sides left in this competition. Sure, certainly are. Steve, thank you very much indeed, mate. Always great to hear from you. Thank you for your analysis of what went on tonight uh, from both Manchester teams. That's Steve, Manchester City fan. Stay ahead of the game with Sports Tonight Live. Don't miss a thing. Subscribe to our YouTube channel. Search for Sports Night Live on Facebook and like our fan page. Follow Sports Tonight TV on Twitter and tweet us your thoughts and opinions. Sports Tonight Live, it's the platform for the fans.